Well, 200 first responders battled the heat while fighting a quick moving fire in Queens. It caused severe damage to five businesses already struggling during the pandemic. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis spoke to one of the devastated business owners in Sunnyside. <laughs> Toshiaki Takahashi, overwhelmed with emotions, looking at the damage to his Japanese grocery store, Tayo Foods. Watching it get boarded up following a fire at a neighboring business Thursday morning. The one that come here already start a lot of smoking. Fire from the, another restaurant. I cannot take care of anything. The husband and father of two, known by the community as Taka, later salvaged any items he could from the store, giving them to neighbors who, in return, gave donations. A lot of people is coming to try to help us. Yeah, I'm so lucky, guy. But it's been tough for him and the four other businesses impacted by the fire, which broke out around 7 a.m. at a Japanese restaurant at 44th Street and Queens Boulevard. All fighting to stay afloat in the pandemic. We open every day. I never close in. Yeah, of course, including pandemic, a lot of people come in. I try the best. All five of the businesses that were affected today remained open throughout COVID. It's been a struggle, and now this, it's hard really to comprehend yet what this means for everyone. Jamie Fabian is executive director of Sunnyside Shines Business Improvement District, working to help these businesses through a GoFundMe page, just like those destroyed by a 2018 fire nearby. In 2018, we were able to raise over $160,000 for 103 displaced workers uh, from the six businesses that were uh, destroyed by that fire. Among those determined to help these businesses, which she says reflect the diversity of Sunnyside, pick up the pieces. After eight years here, hoping with the help of the community, he'll be able to recover and rebuild. I tried to open the store, but I, I don't know here or maybe around here. Yeah, so please, please wait. In Sunnyside, Queens, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. The FDNY says three firefighters suffered minor injuries in the fire. No one else was hurt. We have a link to the GoFundMe page set up to help those businesses on our website, cbsnewyork.com.